All right, guys, before we get into the video, let's talk about foottrading.co.uk. Every single method you see in my videos can be found over on the website with buying and selling prices for almost every single card on the game. £10 a month gets you access to tier one buying prices. That's icons, special cards, silvers, and Thursday flips. For £15 a month, you get access to tier two. That gives you live filters, gold chem styles, UCL cards, and our amazing area of fluctuations where the market is continually monitored for highs and lows. You guys are then notified when to buy low and buy and sell high, basically a really easy way to make coins. We've recently introduced a tier three, thanks to you guys asking for us to develop a bot, basically. We came up with a program and what it does is it pings you every single minute, pretty much. I think it's every three minutes. You will get pings telling you when cards are low and what to sell those cards for. I'm gonna show you an example of that now. I'll be right back. All right, guys, and this is the area of the Discord for tier three users. As you can see, it is pinging you guys with the current price of these cards and the live target sell price. You have to cross-reference that with what the sell price has been recently and use some of your own market knowledge, but this runs 24 hours a day to make sure you guys are getting continual deals that you can keep making coins from. The legitimate way, a new ping's just come up right there for new cards that you can go out right now, buy and sell. So check it out, get involved, foottrading.co.uk. But for now, let's get into the video. Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to a new video with me, Fuzzball40. As always, if you're new around here, make sure you subscribe down below and make sure your notifications are turned on so you never miss an upload. I say it all the time, but make sure you check out the Road to Glory most mornings. There wasn't a video this morning, apologies for that, but there wasn't enough content in the game for me to justify bringing out a video. I don't like bringing out substandard content, so there was no Road to Glory this morning, but it is back tomorrow morning with our weekend league rewards, our guaranteed packs, and the build up to Ultimate Tots. So make sure you check that out. And make sure you check out our brand new business, Real Footy Prints, on Etsy. The link is down below. Just launched a new venture. You guys are already getting involved in it. We've only been a week old. We've sold quite a few already. It's massively appreciated. It supports our content. You guys get to own a really cool print uh, for some of your favorite games. And new prints being added all the time. So check it out down below. If you mention you've come from the video, you get 10% off as well. We can sort that out easily for you. But today's video is all about trading. And I always talk about trading. I've been talking about the same stuff over and over again. And I wasn't going to bring a video out today for trading because... A lot of the, the, the sort of tips I've given you guys up till now are still very relevant. So fodder's low, um, silvers are doing really well. But basically, on the RTG, I've started to stack up packs for Ultimate Tots. Just like 20 or 30 of them ideally to open some bits and bobs up. You never know, you might pack one. But I was doing the Libertadores in Sud Americana and I then noticed that prices of certain cards had risen. Because the Libertadores in Sud Americana, if I show you them, they basically require it in some of the earlier teams, um, like five, maximum five, or exactly five, Libertadores cards, or exactly um, six Sudamericana cards, for example. So you see the exactly's here. Like. And so what happens is, is that you then link, the, link up players from other leagues. So you might just stick in three Liga Nos players and get links there. But sometimes people in their clubs only have um, Argentinians, and so they need to get Argentinians to link it up. Where goals are at what price they are, silvers have been forced up because of the of the league and rare player pick. It's not actually a league and player pick, but it's from their upgrades. Silvers have come up. It's pulled the price of some bronzes up with it. Um, and the cards themselves, so the more cards are they're actually quite good to trade with anyway, and I'll show you that afterwards. But I was buying some Argentinians, and I noticed that I couldn't really get any below sort of 400 coins. So I went onto the transfer market, and I had a little look. Um, and I went Argentinian, basic, and I looked, and I was like... Okay, so there's a lot of them here, so there's 250s. But if you look, none of these 200 coin ones are older than a couple of minutes. Um, and outside of that, they're all selling for more. They're all selling for sort of 300 coins plus. Um, and so then I went and bid on some and to see what we, what we did. And I think we sold a card there already. So we just sold one of those. There you go. One of the Argentinians are sold. And so I bid on some of them and I got them all pretty much for, two, for 150 coins. Now, the profits might not be extreme, but there's no competition on this filter at the moment. And I can just compare price on these cards. Because what a lot of people do is they just go and search Argentinian from X League. Or they see that specific keeper. Um, and they go and buy that keeper. Because he fits in with it. They might go and check a, a, a solution on um, on Footbin. And they go and buy that specific keeper. And so you can double your coins on a lot of these cards. Colombo, for example, is 400. At least 450 you'll get for him. So we triple our coins on that. Um, and so if you are low budget right now, this is hella, like, hella profitable. Because there's so many nations that you could run this with in amongst the um, the Sudamericana because there's so many nations that have this in their locker. Because you've got Bolivia, you've got Ecuador, you've got Colombia, you've got Peru. You've got so many of them and you're able to just go on and just flip them on automatically. Uh, potentially, you could just control the market on these cards. As I just lift these up. 
by just sitting on that foot all day. Because people are going to want to buy those cards no matter what happens, because they're going to need them for chemistry. It doesn't mean that every single card is going to sell for what you want it to sell for, but it does give you much more of a possibility of selling these cards for a good amount of profit. Um, and look at the targets here. So we've won some of them, we didn't win other ones. Let's just clear those off. Again, this guy here is ending in one minute. And so we'll, we'll sort these ones out here. Sometimes you'll pick yourself up a rare bronze. Uh, a rare bronze, and these sell for a lot more. So again, that one they picked up for 150, he sold for 700 coins. And it's basically what I talked to you guys about coin farming before, but it's just coin farming with more specific sort of thought process behind it. It's coin farming with a, a thought process in mind. These cards have demand right now. It's not just waiting for someone to want to buy that card because they need to buy it. You're going, okay, cool. Argentinians might be needed, therefore I'll target Argentinians. Chance of this, someone else has sold. That's a different card, that's from the bronze packs. Um, and so it's hella effective. And like I say, for you to get an idea of the nations you should be working with, just go to the Americana and search. And just go, okay, cool. So here we've got Paraguay, we've got Argentina, we've got Ecuador, Uruguay. Um, Cameroon, I probably wouldn't look at too much, I'm not going to lie to you. Um, that'd be a bit waste of time. Venezuela, all these South American teams and nations are very, very easy to work with. So you can start off by doing that and linking them up to Sud Americana cards in that sense, that's not a problem. But then what you can also go and do is look at the positions for the Sud Americana because before a lot of the bronzes for Sud Americana were 200 coins. That isn't really the case anymore. There are still ones that are cheaper than that. But again, most of Sud Americanas are sitting sort of 400 coins plus. And it's something that no one is touching right now. And I've, I, like I looked on it and I was like, oh, who's bidding on what one? No one's bidding. There's, there's very little bids going onto these cards in any way, shape or form. And I was like, that seems weird because no one's looking at it. But I think it's because everyone's looking at fodder and other things right now that's allowing people to just go ahead on the Sud Americana and basically get cards at the price they want to get them at. And you can do it by you can do it by position, you can do it by nation, you can do it just a standard one. You could, if you really wanted to, just do Sud Americana and nothing else. Just go that basic, so you get with the goalkeepers and search that way. And basically, look again, all these cards here that no one's touching that you can go and pick up. And then the flip side of that as well is if you can get the ones with the better nations, like the Argentinians and stuff like that, they tend to sell for a bit more because it's easy to link them up. The major nations tend to sell better than the minor nations, um, and you're able to pick them up very cheap. And moreover than that, if you can pick up some of the ones that are gold rated, because the only one I looked at strikers and I was going, okay, cool, what are they selling for? And I looked and I saw two of the 75 rated or 77 rated Romeros and it goes for like 1,500 coins a pop and he was sat there on the 58th minute and I bought two and I sold them. And now look, he's come down again. He's at 500 coins again, just chilling there at 500. And now he's needed for a lot of them. And if I compare price on this Romero, not so targets, compare price. Outside those 500, there's a 700 there. This guy is needed. He's genuinely needed. I could go and buy every one of those 650, 700 coins for him. And he'll sell for a grand pass. Because I've already sold him today three times, I think it is, for 1,000 coins. And he just gets mass listed at 500 and that holds his price down. You can go and buy those and flip them on relatively quickly. And even there, you see that one's just gone for 400. It's that simplistic. It's so simple to do. And so when you're looking at doing league SPCs and you're going, hang on, that card's up, that card's up. Why is that card up? I really should have kept an eye on that card. Why are they up? That's when you go, okay, cool, they're up. And so I can go and make coins from them because they're selling. They're obviously selling and I'm able to make coins from that. And that's how you come up with making coins on this game in simplistic ways. Because you're seeing what's expensive when you're buying it. And you're going, hang on, let me look for an undercut on that. There's loads of them. Let me go and buy them. And that's how I tend to work on this game. Whatever's making profit at that time, I go and look at. Something else to think about is we're heading into weekend league. And today, everyone is going to start thinking about building their team. But really, the, the full build comes Friday morning as everyone starts to do weekend league. Um, and that's something to be mindful of because things like position changes, um, they start to rise now because people are starting to build their weekend league teams. But CDM to CM, for example, these are quite cheap. I've seen these go extinct over weekend league and I've been seeing them listed up on mass at like 4,000 coins today. They're the sort of ones that can do quite well. Do not go out and buy these unless you know what you're doing and you know what you're looking at. But they're the sort of ones that can do quite well. And if you can buy those tonight when there's lots of people in the game, Opening packs up, you can make a lot of coins. But what you should also be doing is checking the price of some of these consumables right now, the demand as they are. And then tomorrow, when everyone opens up their stacked packs, their mega packs, whatever it is, and these come onto the market cheap, there's your chance to buy these cards. There's a massive chance to buy these cards. Now, we're going to go into detail with that in tomorrow's video. Right now, I think you should be looking at the Sud Americana. I think you should be looking at Silvers, like I said in the previous video, because they're doing very well. But there's a lot of coins to be made. And very, very, very little competition on the on these um, on these filters because there's so many nations you can attack, so many. And again, we'll go 400 on this, on this guy. And will you sell them all straight away? No, you won't. But you will sell them over time. And if you've got low coins, if you're the guys rinse this couple upgrades, do this. 
to go out, get these cards bought, flip them on for profit, and build it up. And you could probably make yourself 50, 100k in every, every couple of hours and build that up. And that pays for the next set of upgrade packs you're planning on doing for Ultimate Tots. It's really that simple. Um, the game's all about seeing sort of gaps, seeing off opportunities, and making the most of them. That's what I'm going to be doing today. A lot of you are now going to go and do the same thing, which is fine. You'll be battling each other a little bit. But remember, there are so many nations you can work with, different positions. Um, and so just don't all go, okay, well, he did Argentinians in his video. I'm going to go, go and do Argentinians too. Look at it, use your brain a little bit, and think about how you're going to do it. But also, monitor these prices now. Because if you're seeing them sell for 400, 500 coins now, when tomorrow and later on we get massive supply for marking matchups or whenever that is, that's your opportunity to buy these cards and hold them for a couple of days and let them rise. As people are going to want to do packs for with Tots, it's inevitable. People are going to want to open up as many as possible for all the big cards that are in packs. And as always, I try and show you stuff selling, so just so you know, it's actually is my account. Um, stuff to sold. So 2,000 coins on that right back, like I said. Um, stuff to sell. And that's basically me showing you, like, straight up, go and do it. Basically, it'll make you coins. I don't know, again, when this is going to go in the video, but I always like to show you stuff selling. So that's the stuff sold. I'll be right back. But that's going to be the end of the video. If you are new around here, as always, make sure you subscribe down below. Make sure you check out the RTG. Check out fittrading.co.uk and Real30Prints. But for now, I'm out. Peace out. I'll speak to you soon.